and chat probably works works <laughs> now once again All right, make, let's make a sound check. This seems okay. So, ah, mouse freaking out. That's about that. Shadow of the Nighthawks. And I suppose we had this odd shader bug, yeah. Well, it's not, not here anymore. So, uh, let's see what we should be doing. We were kind of around here, going around in the last game. So we should head here quests around here and then then move to, towards the Romney which is kind of ending the chapter we are, we are taking the lo long road because we want to get experience for the for our guys and especially Jimmy Jimmy was Jimmy the hand was uh, introduced in this chapter so we are we are going kind, kind of going to the going to improve his skills a bit before we we, we could actually ch check this okay there's like <laughs> people have returned James motioned, motioned, motioned the picture across the room. The man walked over to join them. He stood there before then, eyebrows arched invisibly. Come in and join the celebration. Welcome to the stranger. Uh, what are you celebrating? New life here in Eckley. You remember I told you that on the night I arrived, something very peculiar happened. All the town's people disappeared, vanished without a trace. Then they didn't come back. It, uh, that's it decided to stay here and see what happened, maybe take over the tavern than me if they didn't decide, all decide to come back. That's not good, isn't it? All taken, I think so. Though I don't know what the ultimate fate of my tending this tavern will be, still haven't heard what's become of the tavern keeper, but while I'm still here, I suppose I ought to act like one. What can I get you? Okay. Congratulations on rebirth. On the way the other it has been fun, so I had no regrets however it turns out. That's good to hear. So long barkeep. So there. Gambler. Same is your so yours, sir. Okay, so we can actually gamble and Okay, we are getting a quite nice sum of money from the... <sighs> Ooh. I think Obun is making, <laughs> making out to be a bard. Yeah, definitely. So, I think there was this shop over here. So much, okay, that's very, very, very good key. I'm even wondering if this quest related this way. And there's probably ton of uh, assassins in this way because that's, that's, that's where the Game is actually directing us to go. So what is Malak's cross? Yeah, no, this is dark more actually. 
So, um, okay. This this is place we visited already. The American Dial. That's that's about it. I suppose this might have been the chapter where we actually needed shovel. Let's drop the excess excess food here. Okay. <laughs> you, you can't fit more into the house. Okay, Gorat can keep our uh, too too small house. Can't hold food. I think he could make a living now as a part. Oh, that's a, this is in in as well. Good to know. Supporting so sixty-nine. Never change that number. <laughs> Kostark is Gorathni is actually actually learning learning some parting as well. A weapon craft ninety five. That's a that's a uh, armor craft eighty six. Pretty good. That's 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 what what we have been aiming for. And this guy needs a, a really good practice with the sword. I mean I mean a lot of practice. Let's test the theory. I, I thought uh, if the time passed enough, those rations you dropped might spoil. But that's something I really need to check and test. Tempel of Fluvia. I think did we visit here already? I think we did. We don't have time for this. Let's get going. Okay. No discussion here. Okay, these guys. That was good damage. And this, what I just tried, didn't work out so well. Let's try it again. No, it doesn't work. Ah! Okay, one down. Korath is definitely carrying this fight. Let's go to defense. Can't actually cast spell. Okay, two down, but they might rise up. 
Okay, that's that's good. Run away. Come on, Jimmy. I need this guy down so I can actually start removing those undead. Okay, that's that's good, that's good. We can stay here. Jimmy go after him and missed of course. Okay, so final rest. Not, not much of effect, but suppose at least this works. So this is definitely that guy could rise up. Okay, he's down. So uh, the battle is ending when all the all the bad guys are down. Nighthawks are down. Even if there would be like uh, assassins who, who come back to life. If they are down, all down, we don't need to cast that spell to everyone. Silver Throne anti -verum use. Ah. Okay, funny thing is that I think Silver Throne was super rare. Uh, poison in the book series, but now it's like commonplace. Anti anti venom, always good thing to have. Something we need to be aware of. Doesn't seem to be anybody out, but Max Cross, do you think we should go for the supplies? House temple in rope. Twenty uses for the rope, so we are definitely going to dungeon in this. Okay, and these guys can actually buy items. This would be a really good pose if I actually use them, which I really don't. The armory. Ticket, he parked through the gap need. When the chains failed to respond quickly, he leaned closer and shouted, Are you deaf? We, I need uh, your lecture. Ticket. But if I don't have a ticket, Jane replied. The man smiled, an unpleasant smile, hooking his thumb for four extremely well developed soldiers who looked to be members of Malacros Constabulary. He squinted. Do you have tickets for it this evening's lecture or not? No. James said, backing into the street, we don't have want any trouble. We are, will be leaving in the you now. The store door slammed closed. Now we can actually teleport here too. A man walked over to join them. He stood before them, eyebrows arched inquisitively. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. What brings you to the Abbey Ishab? My young charge here. We said to visit your famed school of nobles. I don't think he would have let us leave Malacross without paying a visit. Well, 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 I am pleased to see that our reputation precedes us. I am to, I am, am I to assume that uh, you are interested in becoming new pupil, or are you visiting from the es estimable, estimable, estimable <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Estimable rival of the Academy of Magic and Stardom. My father would 
never allow me to study magic formally, even though he more than has financial resources to send me to study. He thinks it's a waste of a young noble's time to spend 10 or 20 years with his nose to get to in a book, and yet he'd be hardly capable of doing anything else. If it weren't from magic on named Patrus that I meant once, I wouldn't know anything of magic at all. It is true that magic can study for longer periods of time with fewer visible research, but no no course of study is waste of time. And while magic is not a primary staple of in our direct studies here, magic and book is kind enough to occasionally send instructions instructed from Star Doctor lecture issues that involve magicians. If you would be interested in enrolling, uh, what, what about you, Stinknir? Is there anything you, in our curriculum that interests you? Book and scrolls, I'm a bit too old for that sort of thing now. Really unfortunate for you, and I was preparing to offer you a chance to attend a lecture of ta on tactics that is being taught by my Orquest instructors. Now I think on it, you probably wouldn't be interested. It's being taught by this well odd fellow, the one eyed gentleman who goes the name, by the name of Pastura from the books as well. Pastura, you mean Guy du Pastura, King Liam's first advisor? Yes, I believe that that's his title. It's part of the Abbe Ishab's arrangement with the King Liam. In exchange for setting aside part of our facilities here for the purposes of education, the king occasionally will also was some of the finest minds in the kingdom. It, it works our mutual benefit. I can still arrange to allow you in if you are still interested for some more donation of 20 sovereigns. What do you say, Xingna? Yes. I think we can make time. <laughs> do, do we need to go? He says that Owen doesn't have a time to study, but tactics. Yeah, sure. In town, near the Queen's Row, there's a small hall that has reset for guys. Speech simply present his ticket at the door. And they will admit you in. I believe you will be in for a st simulating evening. Thank you. We are looking forward to it. Man took their ticket at the door, waving smoke from his face. James was surprised by the number of young nobles seated in the le lecture hall, most looking as if they would rather be drinking ale in the tavern across the street. Despite that, they made friendly company as they offered up seats to James and his companions. All rise for Guy of Rilanon, first advisor to the throne of Kingdom of Ice, Page announced from the rear of the room. After an uncomfortably long wait, the pair of men dressed in purple tabards advanced to the foot of the root stage and took up the station. Uh, the looks on their faces turned and watchful quick behind them was a man dressed uh, all in black. From the tunic to trousers, the patch over his left eye. Mounting at the stage between his escorts, he looked out of assemblage as if they were all his soldiers in the field. Seeing James a smile touched the first advisor's face. It seems I'm not the only advisor here, James of Grondor. Guy said, motioning for everyone, take their seats. I'm surprised the Prince Arthur could spare your company. James shrugged and con covered with a quick lie that seemed to satisfy, satisfy all in the room. As anxious as the rest of their lecture to begin. Horse passed after lengthy discussion of the battles at the Deep Thornton. At the siege of Samantha Grayson, the first adviser finished his lecture and dismissed his Poggle students, stepping down from the podium to speak with the James. A grave look was on Guy's face as he grasped the senior soldier. You are lucky, lucky most of the men in this room don't know Arthur. Guy whispered, glancing at Owen. If they did, none of them would believe you have been sent to Romney to fetch this puny little squire. I'm also curious to know why you are traveling with the company of Dark Brother. Seeing the fur burning 
in the advisors good eye, James realized that the old man was asking to get it questions in deadly earnest. That his two ice scores were standing close for reasons other than show. I'll not have out of the bit rate. Wait, waiting until the rest of students have had been shunted out of door, James quickly began to explain the situation, allowing Cora to fill in details which he only partially knew. When he mentioned the Nighthawks and Romney, the first side advisor nodded. Prince Arus is right to send you to Romney, Kai said. There's a group uh, of kingdom men there. I had Duke of Sivingi sent them a few months ago when we heard about guilt troubles brewing there. We had suspicions of the guilt of death was involved. Grabbing his cloak, the first adversary nodded his eyes goes to check the streets. If anyone in kingdom can find the night hawks, it will be those men from Pastura. They have been of great help uh, in the course of the kingdom over the past few years. I'll warn you, however, that they have made quite a few enemies along the way. What's your step between here and the Black Sheep Tavern? Once the guards had indicated that Road Blaskia guy was gone and the building watchers so felt them outside. Interesting. So, guy of Bastira was actually a, one of the characters in the, in the books. Assessment. Assessment. Uh, he got a me melee as well. So basically, what we should be doing is is still friend <laughs> Jimmy to be a sword fighter. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we are going to. So the Oracle of All wasn't here, but it's it's somewhere. Eat him, whatever. He's some somewhere nearby. Okay, you see that guy over there, it's probably a trap. Rations, okay. Magic death temple bless rest. At last you may solve this chest. Do I remember this or do I not? Yes, I do remember this. Okay, there's like shovel in here. Do we have a better shovel? Actually, we have a worse shovel. So we take the better shovel with us. Flame router. Mm. Torches. Ropes and torches. Okay, okay. And, and, and I think I think we could actually get more torches. So we are definitely going to dungeon. Okay, no traps. <laughs> fine, fine for me. Ah, uh, but then again, I didn't check the tavern. While we were at the at the Malax Cross. Because we are going to like Bard. Chase motion the motion the figure figure across the room. The man walked over to join them. He stood before them, eyebrows arch invisible. I hope you haven't come for the match, it's already over. Match what kind of match? Uh, one queen throw and you can ask that question. Chase mask 
match, of course. It was wondrous. Jamie Tyler was defending his title against the snot nosed brat from the Abbey, Kyle Fisher. Jamie opened moved his green ball to the fourth rank. Jim Fisher opened with the Abbot. Abbas can be arrogant, could. But Jamie actually man man maneuvered into it with his knight. I th was thinking that he was going to for the king queen. But he sacrificed his king's rook and took the priest. It's a brilliant move, but it left his own king and weren't vulnerable, didn't it? You got a good head for the game, Signor. The prince likes to play, but we don't always have a board handy. Once you let the play in your head, the board, board almost becomes redundant. I have to admit it's tougher earlier into the game. More pieces to keep track of. It's still fun to watch though, so that's why the Queen's Row is here. Prefer Perhaps I can relate to the rest of the game. Over ale. Assuming your chains are buying, what can I get you today? So we can, we can get food. I, I think we have enough food. Lost and phone. Do you keep things that people have lost here? Something. Sometimes if it interests me, uh, for it seems to have like they would be coming back for it. Why have you lost something here before? No, I was just wondering if there, there was anything interesting you have found that you think it's unlikely the original over is coming to come back for. If so, I might be interested in taking off your hands. Probably. It wouldn't do me any harm to clear out the area beneath the bar. I believe you, you have there are probably few things. Say you what I'll sell you a lot of them sight unseen for say fifty certain deal. Yes. So I'll park if I'll take them all. You have to gather them up first. I'll give you them to you when you before you leave and put uh, the sale against your bill. Challenge. Any chance I can interest you a game of chess? I'm not sure sure you would want to play games against me. I'm just Learned a few moves from a book I borrowed from the Abbey. Tell me that stakes, then I'll tell you whatever I'm interested or not. Emerald, do you think you are up to it? Forgive me, but I don't seem to have Emerald. I felt so sure I had one with me. Likely I'm always making a mistake myself. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time, lest you didn't pull this stunt after we have played, or I would have suspected you went the a man of honor. Okay, so you can actually double your emeralds by playing with that guy. In Pasha. Sorry, but have you you have piqued my curiosity. What's an in Pasha? I've seen quite, quite a few variations of game, uh, of chess, but I don't think I ever heard that move. Chakeshian. One night I was playing this fellow from Durban. I had my game swinging on one particular pawn, and the game was in my favor. So what does he do but move this pawn to the square directly behind me, then claim to have captured my piece? That's an illegal move. So I said, he goes on to tell me it's one of the most fundamental moves of the game. We argued about it for three hours until a student la ran from the queen Queen's Row to the Abbey to dig up an old book. And there it was, back in the of the text, written in Kessian, the original rules of the game, in Pasha. Cost me two diamonds and very nearly Queen's Row itself. Needless to slay, say I'm I don't allow that rule to be to be played in here anymore. Last fellow that tried to use it on me was a fellow named Navaun to Sandau. I think we should remember this name. And I sent him straight, though he showed me the incredible move he invented called Sandau's Retreat. I can't quite remember how it worked now, though. Abbas Gambit. It's, isn't there another move like Abbas Gambit? But uh, a little different. Ah, uh, there's Abbas turn. That's a brave man's gambit. In the right place, it's about the most powerful stru uh, structure a man can put out. But in the wrong place, it can cost you dearly. 
How does it work? I'm not, I'll be not be teaching you that play. If you know truly how to use it, I would have to keep up playing chess against you. The very face fact that you don't even know about that move tells me you know the game altogether too well. Advice. With uh, all the trade moving back and forth to here, I imagine you talk about a few traders. I'll talk to my share, mostly Queen's role. It's a, it's a haven of our students from Abbey. And it's like in usual going on that someone's making a long trip. I should know, bridge out somewhere, appendix uh, attacking. Only thing I odd I heard recently is that Lord Lighton got a patch of that collection stopping folk that are trying to get to the in and out and in and out of Luton. Some ridiculous high amount of gold. If folks don't have it, the collectors just direct them to the other way. They end up splitting their spleens for them. Of course, the merchants around here wouldn't make a pence if they stood for it. They have apparently found some way to sneak around the cards. Interesting. Actually, we are doing money. There's, there's more talking. Whatever did you uh, get those clothes, Lesley? Must have snitched them all off a market somewhere. You are getting a mild bit bolder, aren't you? I'm afraid you have mistaken me for someone else. My name is James. James is it? Oh, of course. And I'm not uh, your cram bedroom either. I take it. You are masquerading yet again. This is like you. Like that time you ran about Magna Cross for a month begging. A chewed up soup. Is it it? Oh, but you made some fine sovereigns with that act. With all that form coming out of your mouth, a body would, would think you had creeping morgues, monks, and they would pay Bitcoin just to have you away from them. You are always been a wild really one, Leslie. Did you pinch any bird for me? Why can't you buy your own bird? Who pissed in your pot, eh? Uh, you know perfectly well that I haven't had nothing since Jack died, unless... What are you doing with that elf boy? I don't know. They bring bad luck. The Artans give Jack and are string up to all the trouble in Setanon. What's, uh, what's got in your head? Have you gone mad? What trouble in Setanon are you referring to, uh, madam? Battle of Setanon was like 20 years ago or something. Uh, or ten, uh, maybe something, something, something around there. You are, you are really Art Lysel. I do ten, but you are his mirror image. You are. How could this be, unless some kind of fairy evil is in that? That is what it is. Some kind of fairy magic, and you finally come for me to Lysley form. We aren't brothers of the dark path, path. Miss, please trust us. Perhaps I may bear some resemblance to this Lysel character you are talking about, but uh, we are just ordinary folk. I would like to talk to Lysel, however, he sounds like a, like a, might be a relative. Hmm, I guess you don't look like evil fairies. Least of ways, none I have ever heard of. So Lysel might be your brother. I don't know, I never knew my father and my mother never mentioned that at Fien, but then when I was taken captive in Krondor, Fia, for a few of the men who were guarding me kept asking about places I never been and about people I have never met. At first I wanted to dismiss that they were saying, but then I got to thinking that some of the events that happened before. The Battle of Setanon, someone tried to sleep in a double for Prince Arutha. Maybe the model are repeating their own strategies. This is all very interesting, but I haven't had bit bite to eat. The days. Do you think you could spare something for me? Yes. I got a pack of rations that are yours, providing you tell us uh, a little more about it, Lysel. Last I saw of him, he was heading towards the Lighton. S uh, said something about one thing to meet some of the gentlemen there. More than likely, he'll be staying away from the main roads. Try as might, he does have a tendency to get trouble now and then again. 
Thank you, miss. Watch out for yourself. Okay. James Quinted. While he was expecting to see spires of some... James Quinted, well, while he was expecting to see spires of some distant town or the smoke of a chanterous heart fire, at a twist of the road he was surprised to see instead of Christ's room lump settled near the clump of young trees. Have you ever heard of Great Dragon, Owen? James asked. Owen shook his head. No, why? Because that's what... <coughs> Maybe at the end of, of this road, James replied. Feeling brave? We can go and have a closer look. Yes. Dragon statue. Sizzled from the dark stones, the statue of the dragon was rendered in a frightful realism. Its burning grace surely as malicious in the stone as it had been in life. Most impressive of all were the yellow teeth and claws stained cleverly at the tips of the red pigment to simulate uh, the blood drawn from the unfortunate victim. The statue was large. Walking around its base, Korak couldn't help but admire a sinister curve for the dragon's back. The whole of it covered with the beveled scales. Rounding the tail of the creature, he called Owen to come and have a look. But I was startled by the clouded apprehension of the boy's blue eyes. Something's wrong, Korat asked. Owen gasped, as if to say something, then made a motion to the statue before collapsing to the ground. Oracle of all. Greetings, Owen. What? Where am I? While your body is lying safe, still and silent in a cove near Malak Cross, your mind has journeyed elsewhere here. Your arrival has been expected, but I am pleased to have you as my honored guest, Owen Beleforte of Tyburn. Me! At the journey's end, you shall not be as you are, nor may you turn back the way you have come. The times ahead of you will be filled with hardship, and many times you will believe yourself far less significant than you are truly are. In the days to come, you may stand at a critical juncture between Rhaethar and Muthar. And if, if that comes to pass, you should notice a time comes for things to die. But that does, does that mean? Who are Rhaethar and Muthar? I can be explained in a no measure more than as you yet understand your world. In years and in wisdom you will come to me again, and great destiny will be upon you by then. You will be ready for the fullness of truth on that distant day. Wait such time, you may consult me on other matters. They said that dragons know their own destinies, but I had no, not heard that they knew the destinies of others. I'm no dragon, though I wear a dragon skin. I am the oracle of the all. I am the last of my race. I am ancient, older than dwarf or elf, older than dragons and older than the Valheru, who were their masters. Stars that uh, at my birth flamed with violent power have long grown cold, expired. All these things I have seen, and farther yet I see in the things that might be. You can see the future. I can glimpse things that may be. Such was the gift given to all those of my race. Mordor travels with us named Korat. Is he what he says he is? Can we trust him? He's not what he names himself to be, though ever he may not know the lie of his heart. He will be a strong ally unto you and I believe. He may even be a champion to the king who now curse his name. <laughs> 
A great destiny awaits him should he have courage to run Rinosis Bay. Koratha has told us more than leader Dedekan. Will he cross the teeth of the world and attack the kingdom? Dedekan will never cross the boundary between the kingdom and Northlands, but through the treachery he will strike the blow against both kingdom and his own nations of the north. Can you be more specific? Where is he, go is he going to strike? What is the nature of his treachery? I cannot see the futures of, as you imagine, but futures as they perhaps can be. I know only that a delicate engineer a deceit with his six magicians that it concerns the fate of the kingdom. Yeah, this this kind of <laughs> uh, yeah, oracle. 